Hey everyone, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name's Leslie. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen down here on the farm. If you're new here, I would love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, give me a thumbs up, and be sure to share my videos. If you're not new and you're back, welcome back. Guys, you know how much I absolutely love and appreciate you so very much. So, we're continuing our crock pot series. And I'm not sure how long this is going to go. So we may take this some long, a little while longer. But let me just say, we've done a dinner. We've done a brunch in a crock pot. It's time for dessert. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. While the intro is running, I'm going to gather all my supplies, meet you back right here. Why don't you take this time to hit subscribe? So, okay, if you haven't already done so. All right, I'll meet you back right here in just a few seconds. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is So let me go through the items you're going to need And then we'll put it together You're going to need a chocolate cake mix um, This is a doctored up easy recipe you're gonna need three eggs. You're gonna need a box of instant jello. It's the um, 3.9 size. You're gonna need some vegetable oil, a half a cup of vegetable oil. You're gonna need one and a fourth cup of whole milk. And you're gonna need half a cup, the secret ingredient, of sour cream, half a cup of sour cream. You don't taste it for those of you that have an aversion to sour cream, you will not taste it. It just gives this a richness and a moistness that it's like no other. I haven't even told you what we're making, so maybe I should do that real quick. <laughs> we are making chocolate lava cake. You know where it's ooey and gooey on the inside, and, and you usually make it in ramekins. In fact, I've done that on the channel before, made it in ramekins, but this way we're doing it in the crock pot. I can walk away, and I don't really have to fuss over it. So... Let me get you guys turned down here, and we will get started. All right. Now, we're going to start with our cake mix. Just a regular chocolate cake mix. It's fine. And now we're going to go in with our Jello mixture. And I'm just actually going to just dump and go, and we'll mix it at the end. The only thing we're not going to mix in is the chocolate chips. So, all right, I'm going in with my milk, going in with my oil, let's grab our sour cream and get that out of the way, oops, I dropped some of the, the liquid in my chocolate chips. All right, there's a fourth of a cup. Let's grab another fourth of a cup. Y'all, I'm so excited about this. I've already gone and got some vanilla ice cream. This is going to be good. Okay, now we're going in with our three eggs. big one. Okay. And now we mix. Okay. 
All right, guys, I've beaten it for about a minute. I'm going to add in, you know, a, what little vanilla I have left. I don't have much left. So we're going in with a little bit of vanilla. I'm going to mix a little longer just to get that all mixed in. Now what I do is when I have batter on my, I just slowly put it off and on and slowly bring it out of the batter and just let it sling off as much as it can. All right, let's set that over there. I have my insert here that I have already sprayed really well with um, spray. So it's prepared. And so I'm just going in the crock pot with this beautiful, delicious, <laughs> decadent looking batter. This looks yummy already and it hadn't even cooked yet. All right. My hand's cramping up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> if it looks like I'm holding my this hand weird, it's because it's cramping. Okay. So now, let me wipe my finger off. What we're going to do is we're going to take these chocolate chips. I'm going to wipe this down where I splattered some. Okay, we're going to take our chocolate chips and we're just sprinkling them on top. Two cups, that's one of the normal size bags. I can't remember what ounce, maybe six ounce. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the ounce is on them. Maybe 12 ounce, 12. But two cups, measure it out just to be sure. All right, there we go. And we're gonna put the crock pot in the in the cooker with the lid on, on low for two and a half hours. We'll see you back when it's ready to dig in. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, and boy, do I have a surprise for you. Y'all have been missing something from my videos for the past few days, and guess who I have as the taste tester? Hey, 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 everybody. <laughs> so he's gonna taste it, but first I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in the crock pot. All right, everybody, there it is. You can see how the cake has puffed up over the chocolate chips. And look over there. Would you, look, he is so impatient. Are you impatient? Look, I have him some vanilla ice cream to go with it. So let me get a pitcher and then we'll scoop him out some. Okay, everybody, he's getting in it. Look how ooey and gooey. Look. Cake part and then that, oh man, this is gonna be good. All right, our problem with ice cream is always so hard to scoop out. <laughs> How's that? That's good. Oh my goodness. Look at there. That looks so good. It'll be delicious. Looks so good. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. I think it's going to be hot. What do you think? So you got the cake part. You got the ooey. Here, let's see the cake part. Oh, look at there. Yes. And the ooey gooey part. Here we go. We're ready. We're ready. Here we go. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> that is really, really good. The texture is good. And you get a little bit of that soft chocolate from the um chocolate chips right mom yeah and it's not 
That's really good. Very rich, but very good, not overpowering. I like this ooey gooeyness. Hence the lava cake. Call it crock pot ooey gooey. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. That's definitely a keeper. And right of there. course, if you want it more cake like, you just leave it on, of course. Yeah. But the point of this is it being like a lava cake. And it's definitely cakey, and it's lava, uh, lava e. <laughs> <laughs> lava e. Well, he saved me a bite, literally a bite. Of course, I do have all, what's all in the crock pot. Give us your opinion, Mom. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> that is good. A little taste of heaven mm -hmm. in in Asheboro. That's good. I'm actually gonna leave it on and let it cook up a little bit more. Let let it get a little bit more cakey like. So we're just gonna let it go for a little while longer. But that is delicious, y'all. That is so good. So we've done all three kinds of crock pots. So we got some more coming for next week. Tomorrow we may take a break from the crock pot meals, but we definitely have more coming next week. So here's your dessert. It was delicious. Oh my goodness. So thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit that bell notification. And absolutely the greatest way you can support our channel is by sharing our videos on your social media platform. I appreciate it so very much. So I will see you guys tomorrow on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.